The Nexus mod manager is out and I've been getting a lot of questions regarding this and quite a lot of problems have arisen for people. So I'm going to cover um, how to use this tool or how to uninstall it if you want to. Now, some of you will be trying to use Nexus mod manager to um, manage your Skyrim mods, but carry on using Fallout mod manager for your Fallout New Vegas mods. Now, you can actually do that, but the important thing is when you open this up, do not pick Fallout New Vegas. If you pick Fallout New Vegas, it will cause problems. It will change one of the install files into the new format, and Fallout Mod Manager will stop working. Um, if, you, if you pick Skyrim instead, always, in fact, it's probably best to even go, don't ask me next time, for now. Um, and stick to using this for Skyrim, you should be okay. There should be no problems. However, if you've opened Fallout, a Fallout game with this manager, when you run Fallout Mod Manager, you're going to get that, that error. That error is causing you all sorts of chaos. So first of all, you need to find out where the install info folder is. Now, this is something you should know from when you installed it. Um, and if you don't know where it is, if you don't know where it is, go along to your Nexus mod manager, switch the game to Fallout New Vegas, and then go to the settings and the Fallout New Vegas, and you're looking for the install info. There it is. That's the folder you're looking for. And close this. So I will find that for um, install info. And to fix your problem, here's what you're going to do. You're going to find the install log.xml and press delete. You've now deleted it. You now need to take the first log and rename and remove the dot back, just the dot back. So you've now got an old version of the install log. And then try your Fallout Mod Manager. And sure enough, it should boot up. Now, if for some reason it doesn't, if you didn't get the Fallout Mod Manager, delete that install log.xml and go to the next back file and so on until one of them works. But usually it's the first one. And that's it. You've now got Fallout Mod Manager working again. And just to prove to you that you can run the Fallout Mod Manager with the Nexus Mod Manager as long as you pick Skyrim for the Nexus Mod Manager. There you go. Both games. Both Mod Managers. And one last thing while we're discussing the Mod Managers if you are still using Nexus Mod Manager and it is having some problems when you activate mods, if it's throwing errors when you activate mods, try running it as administrator. Now, if you run it as administrator and it works, I suggest then changing the properties of this and going along to Advanced and Run as Administrator so that you always run this as administrator. But that might help. I know it's helped a few people who were getting a crash because the Nexus Mod Manager was trying to access files that it did not have permission to do so because it was not considered an administrator. Okay, and that's it for this video. I, I hope I explained that well enough. And I realize this video wasn't the most interesting video ever. But so I do promise the next mod clinic will be out fairly soon. And I hope will be a little bit more entertaining than this. But until then, have fun.